light. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. I wanna work on a new design. Um, I'm gonna show you how how I would do it um, through Photoshop if that's what you're using and you wanna do it fast um, since I have this template already done. First, I'm gonna delete this other image down here. Then what I'm gonna do is bring the new image up in here. Then um, I have two layers over here, uh, white layers. So I'm gonna bring them under those two layers and there it is. Um, I'm gonna export this image just like that and then I'm gonna bring the other one in here and do the exact same thing. Um, it's a quick way of doing it through Photoshop. Of course, you can use any other um, editing program that you, you feel comfortable using. Okay, so I decided to do the same design front and back. It's just that I'm gonna put some letters on the front of the um, bottle opener. So what I'm gonna do is I'll bring the safe copy that I just did. I exported the copy just like that. So I bring it in here and place it there. I say, yes, that's what I'm gonna do. And I just bring it down and there you have it. So you have both of them right there. You easy, ready to go. I'm just gonna put a name right here and that should be it. So um, I'm, I'm going quick on this because a lot of people use different programs so I don't, don't want to focus on one specific program. Um, I'm just going to export it just like it is right now and then I will work on the other one, desktop, save, and we'll work on the um, the front portion of it. Okay, so this, this is actually the one that I'm going to be doing next. Um, we have it set up, it's done. Um, I did a little drop shadow on the, the name because the white um, blended in with the with the white on the teeth so we're gonna leave it like that and um, it's seven and a half inches by two inches so two inches high seven and a half inches wide and the reason you want to do it a little bit bigger than the measurements for the bottle opener is because if you don't and um, you mess up a little bit you're gonna see these white lines there and there so the paper moved a little bit while I was heat pressing it and you want to avoid doing that okay so um we're gonna make them bigger and wider than necessary but should be good with two by seven and a half okay this step is very important because since we're dealing with letters and sublimation we do have to edit the image um, and then flip it since we're sublimating you have to flip the image now the letters are backwards and that way um they'll transfer correctly to the um, to the bottle opener. So we're gonna go ahead and save that and then print it and we should be ready to go. Okay. And the reason why flipping is so important because this is what you're looking at right here. The top one is the correct one, the bottom one is incorrect. I forgot to flip it and then I also messed up on the lines. So um, we wanna go ahead and do that for sure. For printing, um, I go ahead and switch it to portrait and I go to um, Shrink to fit, more settings. This is what's been working for me. Um, presentation, paper mat, premium, then quality high, and that's it. That's Those are my settings, those work for me. Um, maybe um, someone else uses different settings or you might wanna use different settings depending on your printer or the paper that you're using. So we're gonna go ahead and print it out and then uh, go from there. So the paper that I bought was this one, Sublimation Paper through Amazon. It's actually one of the cheaper ones that I found and it's been working out pretty good. So, um, it comes with a lot of paper pages. And this is already a page in which I print it, so it's already cut. It's smaller than a regular page, but it still works. So um, it's only four inches what I need, so it'll be good. Um, we can use um, multiple pages for multiple prints. It just finished printing and you're gonna see what these type of papers it looks like the color isn't as vivid or bright, but that's how they look. Well, at least that's how it's looked for me, but once I transfer them, then they looked great. So nothing to worry about here. Okay, so let's uh, take it to the next step. Just go ahead and ignore my 3D prints all over the place. I'm practicing. I just got a 3D, print, uh, 3D printer, so I'm kind of practicing with that. But here we go. We're going to cut all the extra um, paper that we don't need for this. So there's one part. You don't have to do, be precise since we made these prints a little bit larger than needed. But I mean, I'd like to get it as close as possible. So there's the other part. So for one full paper, you're able to get about four of these prints. It's 
which is two bottle openers. I believe I'm paying, um, I don't know how many cents per paper in this package, but it, I mean, it turns out very good. It's a very good profit margin. So there we have it. Let's take it to the heat press. Okay, so this is just a butcher paper um, folded in half. Then we have this. I already passed the lint roller through it to take all the lint off. So um, you want to do that just to make sure um, that you don't have any lint or any um, any stuff on there. So you place it how you think it's best. Now, um, you might want to use heat resistant tape for this part. I personally don't. Um, the reason why I don't use heat resistant tape is because this is what happens. What happened when I tried with it. It was a different um, color. So it looked, um, there's more of a shadow on where the tape was at. So I tried to avoid it if you're able to do it without having those issues like up here too there was a piece of tape right here and down here have you able to avoid those issues with the tape you use then go ahead and do it this is the tape that i the heat tape that i use it's a regular one that i got off of amazon so um i try not to do it so here we go so i have that on there let me put these down and then i put one more paper on top i do it carefully to not to move it oh i moved it I kind of feel with my fingers kind of where where the bottle opener is at and I kind of um, know where the center is at so I put it on top okay that one wasn't long enough but um, I think it'll be all right well actually no I want to put some of this right here okay so now we're gonna go ahead and bring the heat press. I have it at 400 degrees, 55 seconds. So I'm gonna bring it down carefully and hit it. Okay, so it's about about to be done with the first um, the first part, which is 55 seconds, uh, 400 degrees or 399. Um, what I do is I go ahead and restart it again. So I do a total of two times at 55 seconds. So it's almost done, we're gonna go ahead and wait. I'm gonna place the camera a little bit um, down so you can see. This heat press only sucks. I was gonna return when I got it, but the thing is that they were gonna charge me $50 um, shipping to return it back, so I didn't. So you wanna be careful here. I'm using heat resistant gloves kind of um, to take this off. So you take the first page off, try not to move stuff, try to leave it how it is so you don't move the ink. Then you just bring the other one quick and okay, it's pretty hot. I'm gonna, you don't wanna move this one from the paper because as you can see, the paper has sublimation ink. Now, if you just move it, tilt it or something along those lines, you're gonna be left with this. Just for a split second that you move it, um, it'll transfer some ink and then uh, you'll ruin your um, bottle opener. So I kind of tried to do it quick. There we go. We didn't get any ink on there. We got enough ink on the sides for that part and the front. It looks beautiful. I'm, I'm liking this. The colors are very, very good. It's glossy. Um, the picture itself, it's kind of pixelated a little bit. I could have gotten a better picture, but um, this is what they wanted. So this is what I did. And now um, I'm gonna wait. It's very, very hot. I'm gonna wait because I'm not sure if this is an issue or not, but let's say um, I flip it and then heat press it. I don't know if the heat is gonna take some some um, ink from this and transfer it to the butcher paper on the bottom. So I'm just gonna wait till it cools down a little bit basically. So I'm gonna wait about um, four minutes, three to four minutes, and then we'll come and sublimate the other part. Okay, it's been about um, three minutes or so. So now I um, have to see which way I'm gonna do this. So this is the most important one because this has the name on it. You could kind of see through the paper, the design. 
Um, but anyway, you want to be careful with this. And this is the most important part. Um, I don't think you can see it on camera, but I can see um, the name right there. Okay, this is probably how I want it to go. I'm going to set it on here. Uh, check it. Okay, I'm going to move it a little bit. Move this out of the way. I'm going to center it a little bit more. And based on my touching, I feel like that's it right there. I hope that's it. We're going to see. Wish me luck. Um, it's the first one I make with letters. I moved it. I moved. This is what sucks about not using tape. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. I hope all the letters fall in between the openings. Uh oh. I think they're not. I think they're not gonna fall. Oh my god, I think I messed up. Okay, I think I'm gonna mess up. Oh, I'm moving the camera too. Okay, we're gonna hope for the best here. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. I, I already know. I already know it's not gonna be perfect. I'm, I'm a little bit scared of this. Let me get a different butcher paper, a different size. I cut that one off. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove this. Put this right there, that like that. I think that'll work. Kind of feeling it right there. Okay. I think that's how we're gonna leave it. Um, we're gonna wish and hope that this is um, good enough. And um, hopefully, it's not disappointing once it comes out. Let's go ahead and hit it carefully. And uh, there we go. We're going to wait and see. Ah, moment of truth. Okay. Move this out of the way. Here we go. Remove that. Hold that down. Peel off the part. Remove it quick. And it's better than expected. We actually did it, guys. We... Okay, it's hot. We made it. It's a little better than I expected. I could have gone a little bit lower with the name. It's a little bit high. But I think it's well made. I think it looks nice. I think they're going to be satisfied. And... Um, I'm excited. I'm excited because these turn out very, very good. The color is amazing. It's super glossy. Look at the reflection right there. Let me see. Let me dim this light a little bit so you can see better. Because uh, that light is a little too bright. So there we go. I think the outline is perfect. Um, because the white blended with the white on the teeth. But there it is. Um, easy as that. Alright, so that's it. Um, we did it. This is the outcome. Let me, this light's so bright. You can't really see the colors uh, well, but um, they're very vi vibrant. They're nice. Um, I like it. It's really, really nice. I'm satisfied with this. Um, and yeah, as you can see, um, the outcomes are very, very nice. They're good. It's darker in some areas because that's how um, the design is on the logo. Not because of the print or the sublimation. That's how it actually is. So you can make all these. Um, whatever you can think about making, you can. Just print them out, sublimate them, and you're done. Um, and it's just as easy to do these bags. Basically, you get them on Amazon. Buy, them, buy blank uh, sublimation bags. And you can sublimate um, images onto them. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'll probably post a video on that, maybe. And also these are not sublimated these are done through heat transfer paper these are tote bags and i think they're actually awesome these are a lot easier to do 
and um, they turn out very very well. They're nice. The colors are are perfect. Um, so this is the same design. And as I was telling you, um, it's darker in some areas. That's part of the design. So you can see right there. That's this part right here somewhere. That's the part that I got for it. And then this is that part right here. It's amazing, huh? How you can just do these things on multiple surfaces. Um, so yeah, we're done. That's how you do it. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned. Hope I explained well. And um, I'll keep making other videos on other stuff if I if I learn new new ways or new methods of doing stuff. So thank you.